May I come in? Of course. Sit down. Can you please have a look at this when you have the time? We need a feasibility report. This will help you earn experience. Okay. Miss Natalia, I need to talk to you. <laughs> you won't ask me what you should write to Celine, will you? <sighs> you can write your own love letters. No, that's not it. So it's important. I'm listening to you. This is hard to say. Well, it's that. Forget it. Uh, sorry to bother you. Excuse me for interrupting you. Kareem, please sit back down. You can't come in here to have a conversation and then not say anything to me. That isn't right. I'm afraid you might misunderstand. Tell me first. Then we will see whether you're right or wrong. From what I can tell, you don't approve of Ken and Anna getting closer. As far as I can understand, you don't approve of it either. Honestly, I really don't. And may I ask why that is? Anna is a very good friend of mine. I know her well. She is sensitive. She might get hurt. I don't want that. Hmm. Let's be honest then, Kareem. You're afraid that Ken might play with that girl's feelings, aren't you? Selene has said Ken has been a bit of a womanizer. He has hurt many different girls in the past. Is that the only reason? Well, yes. What else would it be? Who knows? Maybe you know something about that girl, Anna, but you don't want it discovered. After all, Kareem, she is your friend. No, no, that's wrong. There's nothing. Anna's always been a very good girl. Doesn't she have flaws? No. Well, she's ambitious. That's all. Ambition is an important character trait. I mean, in her business life. She was like that in college. She wanted to win all the time. Actually, it's not a big deal. I see now, thank you. It's nice of you to think about her feelings. <sighs> Sorry to bother you. Good night to you. Welcome, Mr. Ken. Your table is ready for you, sir. Thank right you, Right this friend. way. Such a quiet place. You want to leave? No, it's okay. I need a quiet place right now. Good. I thought we'd be able to talk if we came here. That is, if you want. Thank you. Thank you. is Celine now. Time to accept that. Then they drew a mustache <laughs> and a pair of glasses on my face. I can't make you laugh. Am I that boring? Heavens no. I don't want you to think that. I guess you're just preoccupied. No, I'm sorry. This isn't about you. Well, can you tell me then? Anna, you can tell me or not, that's just fine. That's your decision, but let me say something. Say it then. 
I'm in love with you. This must sound absurd. God knows what you've heard about me. But I swear on everything I hold dear, the women before you didn't mean anything to me at all. Anna, I think about you all the time. You're always on my mind. Not a day goes by when I don't think about you. Where is Anna? Is, is, is Anna all right? How is she? Happy? Is she thinking of me? You must not believe me. You're right. Who knows how many times you've heard these words? I haven't ever. No one has ever been this honest with me. So then, do I have a chance? Darling, are you coming? I'm coming. While you are away, I missed you very much. Time hung heavy on my hands. I don't want to spend a second without you. I want to live and grow with you every single day. I don't know what I would do without you. I love you, dear. Kareem. This is so beautiful, honey. This is the first love letter I've ever received. Not counting the ones I got as a kid. 